Uh, one of the things that's really important is, besides training is knowing when not to train. And this occurs when your central nervous system is shot. And just to give you uh, just a definition of central nervous system, it's pretty much a Wikipedia definition, but uh, it's the complex of nerve tissues that controls the activities of the body. In vertebrae, it comprises the brain and spinal cord. And I made some notes here, uh, so I'm just going to kind of, from this past week, I just want to kind of go over what I, what I put down here. And if you're going to hear any noise back here, uh, my pet turtle is playing with his buddies and moving around the rocks. So that's what's going on back there. Anyhow, uh, just to kind of give a really non-scientific definition of what, of what the central nervous system, when it's overtaxed and when you know you have, need to take a break, um, really it's just when you're, you're mentally, mentally drained. Um, you know, there's, it's, a lot of times it does encompass when you're physically drained as well. But it's definitely, it's, uh, I've taxed my, my central nervous system just from uh, this, this like finals week when I was at, at, in college. Um, so really, it's just, it's just when, I'm, when I'm mentally drained and extremely tired and everything, just everything looks really heavy. Uh, even just, just the warm-up weights that I do when I'm at the gym. And it just, it's just the most, it's, that, that even, that even is too much to bear um, or, or or just looks miserable to me, and I, I pretty much know my central nervous system for the most part is overtaxed. Um, I guess conversely too, I guess looking at your muscles um, as as like the guide to use to see if you should be training or not really isn't the best at all. Um, like right now, for instance, I, I hit the weights pretty hard yesterday afternoon, and you know, like I'm a little sore, but. My, my central nervous system is intact. I don't feel tired and everything. I, I could probably even still, you know, work the muscle with my, uh, just, just, just my back in particular. But I, I could probably even hit, you know, just knock out a few sets right now. Um, but, you know, everything else, I'm not mentally drained. I'm, everything's, um, you know, just, just, just flowing. Everything, basic motor skills, movements, those type things are just, are just fine for me. So, just kind of, uh, kind of give you a personal story. God, about 10 years ago now, I, the, the bodybuilding show that I entered, about everything was going really well. Typically, I used to train. I used to well, I, mean, I train year-round, but really, you know, get ready for contests like 12 weeks away from the show. And with about three weeks before the show, and it was a lot of things started mounting in life. Just, just you know, typical things. I mean, work and um, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. And you know, I was overtired. I was, I was working long days, working into the nights, and. I really, I really hit the end of my rope, and I was extremely exhausted, not only physically, and just, you know, my muscles and everything, but just mentally drained as well. And even though my diet was really on point, and I was making, I was about um, nine weeks into it, I was really making some incredible, uh, just, just my, during my cutting phase, just doing a great job of keeping as much muscle mass as as possible, and uh, just my body fat was really uh, just the body fat was just coming off my body at that point. Um, but I hit a point where my central nervous system was taxed, and like an idiot, as I look back now, I continued to work out. I'm like, well, this is what I got to do to get you know to the end result. I got it. This is I had this I had these workouts scheduled, you know, months in advance. I'm, I'm not going to stray from this whatsoever, and. Really, I did not ever, I did not recover my central nervous system uh, until pretty, pretty much a few days before the show. So like a good solid two weeks, I was just working through a depleted and fatigued central nervous system. And this really hurt me. I came into the show, I mean, it, I looked flat, it's terrible. I, I started losing muscle mass like crazy. I, at that point, I was having my, uh, my body fat taken weekly. So I was really in tune with what was going on and with, with, with my body and I really started just, just shedding muscle weight like, like unbelievable amounts and I couldn't figure it out so I was doing them like I'm like well I, I can't stop working out now I'm gonna lose muscle mass and, or, or you know so I started you know, doing things like oh, I just probably just need more protein or something and, um, and so I just, I, I just continued to eat ridiculous amounts of chicken breast and even more which was just totally unnecessary because I was actually lighter then so probably needed less grams of protein than I did when I started my diet so um, 
So it really ended up being a waste of my time. And I, and it's one of those things I look back now, it's just like, you know, it just, I should have just taken, you know, three weeks out, I should have just taken, you know, just, just a couple of days off from, uh, from hitting the weights and doing cardio, just, just totally relaxed and just, it just kind of minimized the damage I, I was going to do to myself. But no, nope, I was an idiot and just you know, pushed right through it. And, uh, you know, and it, it showed on stage. I was, this is one I was, I was really hoping to, you know, to place top three. And uh, it didn't happen because of my stupidity. So one of the risks that we do run, I mean, I, obviously I assume that anyone watching this channel does Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and has some interest in strength training. So we really have to be careful not to overtax our central nervous system. And, um, you know, by combining both Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, strength training, it's definitely a possibility. Um, you know, definitely some things have to come into play here. You, you're going to have to make sure your diet is really on point. Uh, you're gonna make all your, all your uh, macro and micronutrients, you know, gonna have to be, are gonna have to be, uh, just, you're gonna have to be there. And um, you know the daily multivitamin. That's not gonna. That's not gonna do it. So. Oh, and one of the things that really, uh, I remember, always sucks is when you tax your central nervous system. And this always happened to me. And that body. The one time I mentioned the bodybuilding, that that wasn't the only time in my life I did it. I'd, I'd done so many things, young and stupid. Uh, to tax my central nervous system and not let it recover, but this is when I always get sick. It's 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 inevitable. If someone has a cold, uh, if, with, if they're within a hundred meters of me, um, if they have a cold, I'm going to get it. And there, there was, when I when my central nervous system's taxed, there, there's just no way around it. I ten times out of ten, I seem to, especially anyone in the office that's sick. I was uh, definitely going to catch it myself. So. Another big reason to, and that, you know, obviously being sick, it doesn't help your training. Okay, so what to do when you do tax your central nervous system? Man, <laughs> rest, rest, rest. And I mean complete rest, okay? Because anything, so many things stimulate your central nervous system, okay? So when you hit that stage, you know, I know myself, it's, um, again, when it, it happens to me, it, it's just, I, I can't, I can't even type as fast. Um, if someone calls my name, I'm like, I'm like, Hey, and it's kind of like you know when you're in that mode, it's your central nervous system. So um, just completely rest, knock it off, nothing. Not, do not even say like, oh, I'll just go in and do light rolls or something like that. No, 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 no. Stay home, lay on the couch. That's it. Um, even something like, um, like I don't know. As I mentioned, but playing video games, yeah, that is way overstimulating at that point. And you know, even like watching TV, you just need to rest. Just lay down, have no stimulation, and this is going to get you back to training as fast as possible. And nothing else is. If you're going to half-ass it and then play video games and and, and kind of just hit the wall, I'm just going to hit the weights light or something like that. You, you, all you're going to do is elongate the the, the damage you're going to that you that you've done yourself and you're just going to continue to go and it, it could be it's one of those things you have a choice you can either make it something that lasts a day or two or you can stretch it out for weeks like I did so you know I it's just don't be don't be as dumb as I was that's all I gotta say and the biggest way to avoid this is just is just to make sure you get your sleep um, you know personally seven and a half hours for my for me works really well. If I get seven and a half hours of sleep, that's great. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to tax my central nervous system. I'm not going to the following week. Just, just incredible. But I know not everyone's like that. And some people you know, just you know, train more than I do and so forth. And they're going to probably need you know, eight and a half, nine, even ten hours sleep. And if that's whatever you need, you know, get it. That's all I can say. Um, and, when, and when you hit that wall, just get that rest. That's about it, guys. This could probably take several videos, but this is a good opening one for, for the basics on this channel. So anyhow, thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, you know, please subscribe here. Thanks, guys. Oh.